Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and today we're going to be building the Ferrari Pit Crew A set in 120th scale by Fujimi. Now firstly you should see that there are a bunch of limbs on this sprue here and a bunch of torsos on the other one here. Read the instructions to fit them together in the right place. I'm using some Humbrol poly cement here because I find that it's uh, quite thick and I don't use it much in other builds so I've got a lot lying around. I found that the Tamiya extra thin cement was good to go around the edge of the seams in case they were still a little loose. This is figure A which has hands in these positions to hold onto the wheel gun. Then we move on to figure B here. Found that these seams went together a little bit better if they were sanded. And again, I'm using the Humbrol poly cement. I left that little bit of sprue on the top so that it gave something to hold when I was spraying it. This one is standing up and has its arms in such a position to hold onto a wheel. And there you are, you can see that that goes together like so. Then finally we've got figure C, which is in a kind of crouched position. It is important to read the instructions for the numbers of the parts carefully, because some of the torsos won't go together with some of the leg positions. This one is the kind of wheel receiver, so he will remove the tyre that has just been taken off. I then primed them in some white primer from Halfords and then used this red Posca paint pen to do the outline of the white sections. So those are the parts that I'm gonna leave unpainted, some parts on the arms and that kind of Marlboro chevron shape on the kind of stomach area. Similarly, there's a kind of V shape on the back of the trousers. And also some stripes down the side. I then used some Carmen Rot or Red Carmen paint mat from uh, Ravel and this kind of broad brush, I think it's a two centimetre brush. That went on really nicely, making sure to avoid the areas that I had uh, left that border for. And there you have it. I'd left those white sections around the shoulders and also on the back of the arms. I then did these grey sections on the back of the gloves like so. This is using stone grey from Ravel. Now the decals that came with this kit were for the 2007 pit crew with the barcodes. However, I looked at examples of a 2006 pit crew uniform like so and printed some extra decals to make up for the ones which are missing. Firstly, I used this Marlboro logo, which I printed onto transparent decal paper. The L and the B in the middle go along the seam in the middle of the jacket. Ferrari were no longer sponsored by Vodafone in 2007, so those decals are missing. And also, for some reason, on the kit decals, the little Ferrari badge is missing as well. Did a larger Marlboro decal for the back. These decals were all printed on white backed decal paper. And then I used some of the kit decals as well, including this Bridgestone one, which went here on the chest. And I looked at these examples of gloves from the time. I wasn't happy with the Vodafone decals that I'd printed at that scale, so I simply used the kit decal ones. They included a shell decal and also this little one on the hand. It's not correct, but at that scale, you can't really see the difference. So 
then time for the decals on the arms. Got this Vodafone one, which goes in the middle. There's an AMD one, which goes at the bottom, and the Marlboro one goes at the top. Again, micro set on first, and then micro salt over the top really helped them settle as best as possible. Then on the back, this is my printed Vodafone decal and the shell decal that came with the kit. Looks pretty good, if I say so myself. Now the helmets were done in Italian red gloss from Tamiya. I then did the masks in semi-gloss black from Ravel and more of the Carmin red for this chin covering part here. I made a slight change, trimming the two white strips for the helmets into one and then putting this section onto the back to make them a bit closer to the helmets used in 2006 and then printed off my own little Ferrari and Marlboro decals to go on the front and the back and this Puma decal went on the chin here. All these helmets for this set are exactly the same. It's then time to glue these together. When painting the legs, I left the Puma logo and the laces in white, painted around them in red to leave them looking as much like trainers as possible. The soles were also done in black. used foam safe super glue for some of these. Finally then I used this white Posca pen on the shoulders to do the Puma logos that go there. There is also a Vodafone logo which goes on the shoulders but it's far too small to fit into this gap considering you needed to include these Puma logos. It's not the neatest but I think it looks better than it would do had this section been left blank. For the wheels, I found a 3D printed 120th uh, Ferrari from the right era, so I asked my brother-in-law Rory to just print out the wheels. These are done on resin. They were primed and then painted in matte black from Hobbycraft. Then used this Bridgestone Potenza stencil, which came with uh, some Tamiya seatbelt set. Covered those over. It's important to attach the stencil first, as if you try to do it over the top of the tape, I find the stencil bends. And then I used some two centimeter tape around the outside, which covered up the rest very nicely. If using these stencils, make sure to cover up some of the arrows. This was then given a quick blast of white primer. And there it is, that looks pretty good, if I say so myself. Same job was done on the other side, and then I used some Revell silver paint on the hubs like so. This is sped up to five times speed. There we are. Now when it came to the accessories, it was important to sand away any burrs or mould seams on the wheel gun. These were all then painted in matte black. The radios just went on with a little bit of foam safe super glue. These are all identical, so don't worry about getting them the right way around on each build. And then for the wheel gun, both the wire section at the bottom and the section which goes onto the wheel itself were painted in Ravel Silver. And that may need to be glued into place to stop the mechanic from dropping it. And here it is with the 248. It's just a little test build here. I'll still need to do the mechanics B set to have the jack men and so forth, but I think that looks pretty effective definitely going to be getting a display case for this lot. 
Thanks a lot for watching, hope you found this enjoyable. If you want to see how I built the Schumacher driver figure, it's in the part of the 248 build linked above and in the description. Thanks a lot, I'll see you soon.